Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another early morning for today. Heading to the swamp. We need some plant species, man. It is not going to be safe going to get it, but we really need some. So on this map, the swamp is a little bit different, man. It actually looks like a swamp. It's a gully down in between two cliff faces, and there's a lot of stuff in there. There used to be a nice little cave. Want to try to see if that's still here in the ASA version, as well as the dwarves, man. If so, we'll try to take some out. Hopefully they don't kill us along the way. But dude, we got everything from Carnos. We got raptors, we got dillos, we've got some trudons at night. It's it's not safe over here. There's also some pooflingers, man. Had a couple of those guys stop by. Then we got the annoying creatures like the trikes over there that keep trying to come in my base door right here. Overnight, man, before I started recording, I had a trike in this door. And then I had a carno back here, nibbling on the cat's toes. So you can kind of see the uh, <laughs> dodo got moved around. It's not safe, dude. It's not safe. I'm really thinking about putting a wall up around here. We'll see, man. Want to try to stop by the Redwoods and grab a Dodic? It's kind of along the way. I'm not wanting to... We'll talk about that stuff in my inventory in a minute. We're not uh, not taking the raft around. Now, we can actually take and run around the whole thing. Come down this way by our old base. Head up here. Go through the mountain to the Redwoods. Maybe find a Dodic. And I think the swamp is over in here. I tried to fly over there up at a high altitude so things could load in. So we actually have creatures whenever we get there. But it's not too far. It is, but it isn't, man. It's kind of halfway across the map. Now, in between this video and the last one, did some stuff. Went ahead and changed the lights out. The Frontier lights, this map is super dark, man. It's dark, it's cold, and the Frontier lights wasn't working at night. So went ahead and made some of those. Had a supply drop right outside our base, dude, and it was a yellow one. Finally got a Sarah saddle. Now that we're on a map where we don't have our Sarahs, so <laughs> kind of sucks. But not too bad, man. 118 on the armor. Should come out maybe around... 160, 180, whenever you use a crafting skill on it. So I'll save that for the center. And then I got this I want to set out. It's a Dwarven workbench. So all of our stuff, man, all of our skins are part of the Dwarven Builders mod. That's the name of it. And there's also the workbench here. And it should have some stuff in it. Let's take a look at it for today before we go out. Because there's supposed to be some skins for your armor in there. Let's just set it right here. I like it, man. It's nice, small, compact. It looks good actually do this first so I'm not lock unlocking all this stuff this is actually built parts you can do but we're using skins on our normal stuff I like how there's options man you can either do the built ones or yours there's a statue there's some armor there's some skins for like the pick and stuff wait a minute alpha raptor claw interesting he uses alpha parts that uses UD lungs! I did not look at this when I, I unlocked it. I just went through and started clicking stuff. It's a long neck one there, too. So it actually gives part or use for alpha parts. Interesting. Why do we have to have UD lungs for all the skins for the armor? Look, dude, that's five of the UDs we gotta kill off. I do want to build this. And there's one for the the pig, healing pig. Alpha carnal arm, okay. We got one for a dire bear. It's some armor and stuff. I thought there was one for a thyla in here, too. Is there not thyla armor? There's a forge, too. Totally missed that. Now, is that as big as a normal forge? I'll have to get some more metal smelted up. We'll have to try to build it. Can't do it today, but I'll start working on that. Cement paste as well. I haven't seen any of the beavers, really, to raid their houses, you know? Wait, guardian chest piece. Is that a separate one? Yes, it is. Interesting. Just unlock all this stuff, man. It's kind of cool. Anyways, <laughs> I was wanting to build the skins for our armor today, but we don't have any of the UD lungs. Let's build a trophy. Not a trophy, but a statue. That's kind of all that we can make right now. I don't have any alpha parts yet. Wait, we got the berserker creature that we killed, right? Did we get the parts from it? Oh, we did. We got two. Interesting. Well, let's see what we can make with this. We can at least do these. Let's do... The pick. Do we have enough stuff for the hatchet? Might be shy on metal. We're good. Fantastic. One more. Let's put you down there. And put you... Down there. Now, here's the thing, man. If we die and can't get our stuff back, not only do we lose the tools, but that's uh, expensive stuff to build those, you know? 
There we go, man. It actually looks like a decent pick. That is fantastic. That is well. Ah, oh, dude, I like it, man. I like it. So there's one for the crossbow and... Oh, we don't have them. Crossbow, put that away, man. And the long neck, too, right? We're not using a crossbow on this map. We're using our normal one. Kind of sucks there's not one for this. Might do the long neck here eventually, though. Interesting. I really want to see how good the armor looks. Where's the Thyla skin at? Wonder why there's not one. I thought there was supposed to be one. Hmm. I'll have to look. Maybe it's in there and I just don't see it or something. So, let's drop off our saddle. Actually, you know what? Is that the... That's a converter. Let's do a blueprint maker. There was an update again. Every time, man, my Ingrams get reset from... The CS stuff. One of you. Make this into a blueprint, see how expensive it'll be. I did lighten up the windows a tiny bit as well. They are no longer at... I think it was 0 0.75. They're at 0 0.5 now, I think. Yeah. I just changed it up so you can actually see in a little bit. I like having a little bit of visual appearance through there, you know? Let's close this before somebody tries to come in here. So, make this real quick and we'll head out. Please do not be expensive. Now, you can paint these before you make it into a blueprint, and it'll retain the the dye. I just don't have any dyes right now. So, 8,500 on the fiber. Not bad. 635 on metal ingot. Very not bad. And 4,100 on the hide. That is not a bad blueprint, man. I like it, dude. I like it. Now, we also got a saddle for a dodic. Can we make that right now? It's going to be smithy. Before we head out, I really want to grab a Dodic if we can today. We can. Cool. It's not made with a crafting skill. I'm not too worried about that right now. He should be fine. It's 60 armor on it almost. It's so nice having a drop right outside here and then one on the, the little island behind us. I keep calling it an island. It's not really. It is, but it isn't, you know? I right, put you in there. So, how big is this? Oh, dude, we got to make a second one. We can put two of those out front. That should look fantastic. I think, well, let's do... Let's do two more. And we'll put them in the back over here, too. They're little guardians, man. See? These guys. Annoying. What level are you? 90? Uh, he's got a little one, too. I don't want to buy the base, dude. Yep, get mad. Get mad. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him! One more! Holy crap, dude. Super close. Don't care about you. Uh, we'll let you live. You can do your thing. We set him down here? Or right here? Or right there in the bush. Gonna block our view through the window. Oh yeah, I'll move the windows over too. So I did a half wall here. The window. And half wall. It was really bugging me that the railings was going right into the glass. It, it's a lot of little stuff I did off camera, man. <laughs> I was getting annoyed by some things. I mean, that's not too bad. It's fine. We'll leave it. I like it. Kind of cool. Alright, close this. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Don't yell at me. I know I'm getting some plant species. I know you got attacked by a carno. You live, though. No thanks to the saber that was on passive. Letting you get nibbled on, then he got nibbled on. It's a bad deal, dude. All right, food. We got 31. Let's grab a little bit more. We don't have any medical brew, so what we have is what we got. I think we're kind of set, right, for the most part? Armor's fine. We can repair it on the fly. And then... I set up a little water tap, too, for filling the canteen. Yep, that got damaged, too. All right, Junior, are you empty? You're not. Now, here's the thing, too, I didn't realize. With the CS refrigerator, you can store your polymer. You can store your... The bile. Amomite. Ammonite. It's one of those words, man, I don't say very often. Have a problem with. So, it's kind of cool. Works out. And then we got... 116 on the dart, so we should be good for taming our dodic today. And we got some of the cryos? We do. Alright, I think we're kind of set for today. 
Yeah, the main goal is to find the swamp, get some plant species. Secondary goal is to get a dodig. Doesn't matter the level. It can be a level 20. I mean, let's just put 20 at the minimum, right? Because we still need to be able to ride it and use that for gathering our stone for the fence. But it doesn't have to be very big, man. A lot of the stones at base. So one or two tail swipes, if it gets overloaded, it's not that big of a deal. And then I wouldn't mind finding a shiny creature if we can. Maybe get that tamed up and then grab some drops along the way. It's a lot of stuff, man, but I kind of like being on the ground. I can't get up there. Need to go back this way. We got to stay up there because if you get caught up under the ice pack there, the piranhas will kill you. Almost happened to me off camera. Just saying. Well, it's a lot of little stuff, but kind of need to get it all done. I don't want to do everything off camera. This is a Let's Play series. That's all I do on my channel. So it's kind of me playing the game and then recording it. Oh, it stops right here. Didn't realize that. So anyways, I got a very, very long run ahead of me. So I will see you when we get there. So we just kind of crossed over to the Redwoods. One thing I'm thinking about doing. So we need some of the special eggs for making our kibble and stuff to tame a Maywing. And I mean, other creatures as well. What I'm thinking of, instead of doing the UDs, which we still might do because we need all the UD lungs, is we might... Try to get one of the Hesperonis. Now, I hate those creatures, man. They are a huge pain to tame. There was some over here. They are. Over here. 25, low level, which works. And a 45, and a Sarko. Let's, let's kill the Sarko off real quick. What I'm thinking is, tame these guys up, and put them in our terminal, and they should be able to produce eggs in there. Now, I'm not sure if it works out with the... That is a massive fish, dude! Holy crap, it's the size of the saber! Yep, piranhas. Oh, there's some pearls in here, too. But I'm thinking about if we put those into the terminal, that should provide some of the eggs as well, the golden eggs. And that's one of the special ones, obviously. The problem with that is they have a very, very short spoil time. And I'm not sure how that works out in the terminal. So maybe we'll do some testing, kind of see how that is. And I might do that in the next video, man. Come over here, try to, try to get some tamed up, you know? There's a bunch here. And then I found some actually up in the snow area, up by base. So, we'll see, man, we'll see. It's, again, it's a pain to tame. It's kind of like doing an otter, where you have to kill a fish and then take it over to it and feed it. And if we do a small little trap, used to be where we could build a trap. That way they don't wander around all over the place. Not a big trap, just a small little, you know, some walls and a door. So you can get in, bring them some fish. But might be a different alternative. We haven't tamed one since, man, way back in ASC. Long time ago. Again, they're a pain to tame. The spoil time on the eggs, I think, once you pick them up, is like one or two minutes. Very, very short spoil time. I'm hoping that the terminal will extend that, because it's kind of like a modified refrigerator, in a way. I'm not seeing any of the dodics. Let's go to this side. Because down here, on this side of the river, is where we saw the dodic last time. Let's put this into... I guess damage will be fine. Kind of want to put some into weight. I know, buddy, you're celebrating too much, man. Oh, it's an S Spino. Well, that's a terrifying thing. What level are you? Level 90. Things look awesome at night. Let's kill him off so he doesn't kill off the Dodics. But right over here is where we found that one. They're super fast, dude. He's got the water buff. He's super fast, man. Yep, yep. Come over here. Come over here. Get some good points for Junior. Oh, Terror Bird's down. They glow at night, though. He has creatures. Looks fantastic, dude. It seems like they changed the spawn weight of these two. Now, back in ASE, the S version of Dinos would, like, replace everything. It was it was kind of annoying in a way because it replaced so many of the normal creatures. It's supposed to be a percent chance to have them. But it seems like it's sorted out now. That's one reason why I didn't want to put this mod on to have it on other maps because it replaced so many of the normal stuff. But if it's only every now and then you see them, it's kind of cool, you know? Now, the Dodic was over here that we tried taming. The level 20 was over here. That 20 would work if he's still alive, because there's a cave that goes topside. The Spino might have actually killed off the Dodix. It's, it's, it's a good possibility, you know? Even though they go in their, their little ball, they don't last very long. Especially low level 20. I can't remember what the first one we were trying to tame was. It was like a 90 or something? He was in a ball, though, and we totally ran out of darts. Oh, there's one there! That's the same one, I think! 95! That's him! Ah, oh, Junior! Are we safe? Are we safe-ish? Let's change out our darts. Ah, oh, dude, if this works out... Let's, let's put you on passive, make sure you're on passive. 
That would be fantastic. Really wish we could see the Torpor on these guys, you know? No tech on this map. And then again, we're not going back to the center to grab anything until after the Gamma Boss is done. And the thing is, there's four Gamma Bosses on this map, so it's <laughs> it's not somewhere we're going anytime soon. Only time we're leaving this map before that is if Aberration releases. The Dinosuchus, though, is part of the Arc Editions. And they're slowly adding some of those creatures to the base game, which is kind of cool. And that's the next one to come. Oh, fantastic! We need some berries! And that's the next one to come over, and it's supposed to be on the 17th, which is in about three days from whenever I record this. So super excited about that. Hopefully they don't nerf it too much. It had a huge gigabyte, which was fantastic, man. Very good creatures for boss fights, and they're terrifying, man. They're like a Sarko, but a lot bigger. Like, massively large amount bigger. So I'm hoping to use those on the boss fight here again. And they're kind of cool for being in the water. That'll also serve as our water mount. Let's give you the purple ones. Only the best for our tames. I mean, usually. It'd be nice to get some kibble, though, because berry tames take forever, dude. Even with my boosted settings. I think I'm on four times for... for taming. Something like that. Maybe five times. Again, it's mainly for recording purposes, you know? Yep, yep. Of all things... Hang tight, buddy. I got you, man. I got you. You're doing fine. You keep his aggro. There we go, man. Teamwork, dude. Teamwork. I know. I know. You all right? You good? Oh, you're fine, dude. You're fine, man. You got a really good saddle, dude. This guy's going to take forever. I really wanted a lower level one because <laughs> it takes so long. You get like 1% or 2% for each berry. It's not much. All right. Let's hang tight here. Hopefully it doesn't get too late in the day. And wait for Junior, man. It's the one bad thing about single. Holy crap, that galley, man. I hate those things so much, dude. I need to, like, edit out those on my maps, too. Just like the seagulls. Hate galleys. They're nothing but problems. But, <laughs> anyways, that's the one thing about single player. Now, if we were on a server, we could just set up some spike walls around him. And then go and do our thing. Come back, and he'd be ready. On single player, they got a chance to despawn. Happen quite a bit, or fall through the map, if you leave render range, so... Can't really go too far away from them. There should be some otters over here. Now, there's an otter shrine down in the water. Used to be. Let's, let's do some, well... Ah, <sighs> dude, I don't have any... Let's build some walls real quick. We're not going far, but we're going far enough to where something might happen. I want to see if the otter shrine is still in the water, the cave. If it is, that's one of the artifact caves, and it's not safe, dude. It is not a safe place. Let's grab, I think we need thatch and wood. Plenty of thatch. We got fiber. The tools look fantastic. What are we missing? Oh, hide. Junior! I'll take that, thank you. Let's do... Six should be fine. Make sure they don't clip together. Let's drop all this extra... Extra junk. I'll keep the narcos in case we need to feed him. Where did I get that from? Drop? Might have been. There was a drop along the way I got some stuff from, too. Make sure we turn off snapping. He's 20%, so not too far away. Make sure we get his little tail in there, too. This should be enough. That's, those things are so loud, dude. The Morphodons? How's your berries, though? He's got enough. I think he'll be fine. We're not going very far. Alright, you hang tight there. You should be safe. Hopefully a Trudon does not fit in through a little opening that I missed. And we are jumping into the water real quick. Scuba Cat. Used to be over here on this side. There's a lot of oil over here. Interesting. I can definitely come here to grab that. Super hard to see. I do got the fog turned off, too. I wonder why there's still... ...fog in the water. Is this it? I don't see any more otters around. There used to be a lot of otters on top. A lot of the saber-toothed salmon. Oh, it is! Yeah, so right here is an artifact cave. We're not going into it today. Rough coordinates are gonna be... 39 or 31.9 and 
Little pond there. It's kind of cool. That is a very deadly caveman. It's no joke, dude. A lot of stuff in there. Gas, there's otters that attack you, and all kinds of other stuff. That might be one of the first ones that we actually do for the artifact runs. Kind of a nice place, though, man. This is where we built our base at in ASE. Up in the trees? I don't see the zip line. Oh, zip lines aren't in the game yet. We use zip lines to kind of get across. And there were some natural ones here. And build our base. It's kind of safer, man. You're living in the redwoods. You definitely want to have a safe way to get up in a tree and live up there. Still no thylas, though. Super weird, dude. Super weird for sure. And there we go. Ah, dude, that is fantastic. Timey, man. There's a shiny berry over there. I'm going to take a look at it. He's fighting a carno. Let's demolish this. And we'll just, well, let's go ahead and just demolish all of them. I don't want to leave stuff here. But I want to take a look and see what what kind it is, right? What flavor? Not sure if we need a berry on this map, but it's a very good one. It might be good for taming. Junior, how you doing, buddy? Have a nice nap. Let's go ahead and give you a saddle. Oh, it's in the it's in the cat. I had a terror bird walk up here, man. It was like just didn't attack me. Kind of walked up, had a friend with him, and then went right for the Dodic man. Good thing we have the spike walls up. That's one of his friends right there. But at least we got a little bit of element and some black pearls out of it. Let's give you this. Put you into a soul ball real quick. Take a look at some stats. So does a female. Teamed out to be a level 142. We've got 22 into health. Stamina is 17. Weight is 23 and damage is 25. Not too bad, man. Kind of in the middle road for everything. It comes out to 41, 31 on the health. 810 on the stamina. Weight is 365. That'll definitely have to go up. And then 319 on the damage. So, if you didn't know, most of my teams, I like having up around 400% on the damage for harvesting. And then everything else goes into their weight stat. Where'd the berry go? It's a Trudon. Terrifying thing. Level 90. Okay. Where is the shiny? Don't know if we'll tame it. Probably just kill it off and get the stuff. Again, it's a... It's a berry, man. Not too worried about berries. 85 Carno. It's kind of nice seeing high-level stuff, man, versus like the island or even the center. A lot of stuff is super low-level around there. Where did he go, dude? That's a waterfall. It's gonna say there's a big blue creature back there. I don't know. Megatheriums are mad, though. 135? 145! Oh, dude, I'll tell you what, is that a male and a female? Okay, look, 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 they do a ton of damage, I don't want to mess with them! We'll leave them here, maybe for taming later on. We're kind of overweight on some stuff, we need to drop some weight. What happened to that shiny creature, man? Wanted to see what flavor it was. Drop some weight real quick. Oh, we got a treasure map. Interesting. Keep you. We'll drop, we don't need that much on that. I was trying to put stuff into the cat to save. Might just put it in my inventory. Need the soap for later. Guy wants a bath. Let's drop all this. It's a black pearl that's going to weigh a lot. The wood, too. Went ahead and repaired my clothes as well. I don't know, man. Not sure where he is. Anyways, <laughs> let's kind of continue on. So we got the dodic for the day. If anything, at least we have that. It's a Thyla! Level 130! Look, dude, look. Today might be a taming day more than going to the, the swamp. Now, if you remember, we got two Thylas back on the center for breeding. I don't remember what stats or what gender. One was super low level. We could tame that guy up pretty quick. Oh, you know what? We need a ton of narcotics for him. We only got 26. Let's leave him for now. We'll come back. I know, Junior. I know. You're fine, dude. You're fine. Stay there, man. Play with the Carno. We're going this way. We're not too far from the swamp. Maybe we'll try to tame him on the way back. We'll grab a bunch of the narco berries and stuff if we need it. I know right where he's at, though. Ah, oh, they're gonna follow us, though. Let's try to lose some aggro real quick. It's not where I thought it was. We need to go up here. Alright, he's over there. He lost aggro. Nice, dude. Nice. I know right where he is, man. We'll come back and try to grab him maybe on the way back. But where we're going, we're out of the redwoods now. And then right over here is a swamp. So, for the red and the blue obelisk... I thought the red one was over there, and the blue one was up here. Did they change them? Maybe, maybe not. That's a massive floating island, though. I like the purple on it. 
Kind of adds to it with the crystals. Now, the only thing I hated about the floating islands over here was it had, like, the wind sound all the time, right? It was constantly wind going by. Oh, there's a bridge right here. Let's cut across. Not sure if it's still like that. Maybe we'll try to do some more exploring here soon and find the entrance to go up to that. There should be one more down that way. It's quite a few of them. Let's see where we're at in life on the map. The swamp should be up here. It's kind of cool, man. I like the paths everywhere. Talked about it before. But it makes it nice for roaming around. Especially having the shiny dino mod, you know? That way, when we're roaming around, we have a chance to see some other creatures to tame. It's a Rex. It's a lot of Rex and stuff over here. Allosaurus. Ah, dude. Don't want to mess with them, if possible. There's the, uh, the music for it being noontime. Horses over here as well. There's a swamp. Ah, dude. Super excited. I hope... Oh, there's a shiny... Shiny horse. Interesting. Don't really have a use for him. Oh, those Michael Raptors! I did not know about those. Okay, look, look. <laughs> oh, that's calm stuff over here. I mean, minus a Rex and Allosaurus. Him, buddy, him. Thank you. Appreciate it. Don't really have a use for the horse, but again, wouldn't mind having a good breeding pair of each creature, you know? Get away from here. Luckily, in the swamp, there is none of the Michael Raptors. There's another one. Holy crap, dude. Let's take care of them now. Before we get to the swamp, preferably. Here we go, here we go. Nice, nice, there's another one! It's a whole family of them! Holy crap, dude! Why are there so many? We're fine. So there's two different ways to go up here. You can go straight, and you can go up that way. Up that way, I never did too much exploring. Not sure what all's up there. But let's head down this way for right now. And I hope that the cave is still up here. That used to go down to the ground. Look fantastic, man. Cool little place just to build your base. Now, I'm not sure if the other trees are going to be here, too. We built a little hobbit house in some of the trees that were hollowed out. Oh, let's do this, too. Let's do... Attack my target. We, we're 100%, man. Oh, we're going to get cap -road. I called it, dude! I knew it! Junior! I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know. I didn't know when. I didn't expect it to happen right now. All right, so our cap -road is done for the day. Now that we're done with that, we should be able to... Oh, wait. Snake? Okay. Oh, that's gonna be some of the polymer bushes. Or not bushes, but uh, creatures. Yep, Sarko. Okay, okay. A lot of stuff, man. We're in the swamp, dude. We're in the swamp. So, just like we got the whales on the beach, he's got the trikes from Fjordor in the swamp. Good place to get your polymer stuff. Bring, like, a fairy in here. Dude, you can get so much, man. Yep, yep. High-level Sarkos. There's a cap row, too! Ah, oh, dude. I got him, Junior. I got him. Yep. I'm not tracking the info. I got a leech. You can't automatically ride your tames anymore when they get a leech. It's super weird. There's another one. Dude, we're not even technically inside the swamp yet. It's, the, the swamp starts, like, right here. Yep, I saw you. You tried. You swing and a miss. 150. Got a berry, too. Okay. Very, very busy day. Maybe I shouldn't have flown over this area to let stuff load in before we started recording. Would have been a little bit safer. Again, though, man, seeing the large amount of high-level creatures is, is so nice, dude. Super, super nice. I'll keep that. I'll keep the Sarko skins. I'm not sure if we need them. Let's keep the arrows. We're definitely going to need them. Let's drop that for now. Let's keep... Ah, let's keep the hide for now. Alright, so, the main thing we're looking for over here is plant species. Not sure if it's on this map, in the swamp. It should be, I think. A lot of frogs. We gotta watch out for piranhas in the water, too. Let's go this way. Go around. Oh, there's plant species. Oh, fantastic, man. So there is some. We'll grab all that we can, so we never have to come back in here again. Don't hit the, uh, dragonflies. Yep, look, man. You guys can have the kill if you leave me alone. Nope, you're not gonna leave me alone. Okay. It's a leech. I see you, man. I see you. Leeches be leeching. Let's grab the blood. We're gonna need it for the artifact caves. There are 100% gonna be bats in them. At least there used to be an ASE. And we need to make some of the antidotes. Alright, we good? We are right. I just want to play the species. We'll grab it from this other one here, and then take a look around. Now, there used to be some ruins in here. 
That was... I don't want that. That was the dwarves. I'm hoping they're still here, and I'm hoping we don't die trying to... trying to fight them. Yep. Yep. Pick everything around, except for the bush I'm standing in front of. Okay. Let's drop some weight real quick. Should have kept the narcos, to be honest with you. We good? Let's do this. So that we don't get stuff mixed up. And where is that treasure map going to be? It's a primitive one. So we might not do it. Oh, it's way far away. Way far away. We're not going to worry about that, man. Let's let's go ahead and just drop it. It's a regular one. If it was an Ascendant, we keep it. Not worried about it. Kind of cool that it shows up on all maps, though, you know? I mean, they, they, they drop. Yup! Ah, I knew it was something, man! Junior! Buddy! This guy! It's fine, it's fine. I'll do it myself, I'll do it myself! 55. Let's get out of the water. That's why I didn't want to get in the water. Because it's super hard to... I don't want to hit these guys either. That's awesome that they're, they're on this map, though. I don't want to hit them because I don't want to carry around all the polymer. Super heavy weight. So, let's actually... Let's go down on this side. And we'll come back up on that side to see what's changed. Because over here... Let's double check back here. I think it's down further. Some more plant species. We're looking for the cave that goes down in the water. Or not in the water, under the ground. Don't hit the parasaur, please. Please don't hit the parasaur! Yeah, I think it's down further that way that the cave was. Excuse me. Excuse me. And we are in the market for some frogs as well. Might do quite a bit of taming on this map. I think we're good on plant species, right? We got 105. We don't need that much. We might do quite a bit of taming to get our extra breeders, you know? We're at the end here. Okay. So, what we're looking for is some rocks piled up. And then the cave goes straight down into the ground. All that's in there was some crystal... Fairly decent size area. All you need to do is just kind of wall it off with a... a door, you know? Not seen it, though. Wonder if it got removed! Nope, oh, right here. Ah, perfect. So, where we're at... Yep, Capro, Capro. Uh, 49.5 and 8.9. Yep, yep, let's go in here. I can't see! <gasps> There's dwarves! Oh, dude, we might die! Maybe? Maybe not? Level 90! I'm stuck! We okay? We're not okay! We're, we are definitely not okay! Sarko City, man. Ton of Sarkos! Now, okay, Capro 2, Capro 2. There's gonna be... The Dinosuches, whenever they come out, they'll be in the uh, swamp as well. I can't see anything! Yep, 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 yep. Lot of stuff here, dude. Lot of stuff here! Am I stuck in... the terrain? I can't get out. It's not fair if you can bite me and I can't bite you. Okay. We're hungry. Stop for some lunch. Came down in here with us. Makes life easier. Look, dude, look. Anytime you go to the swamp, it's definitely an adventure. Hold on, let me kill this guy. All right. Yep, yep. One at a time, please. One at a time. It's a 130. Hopefully we can get out of here. Might have to use admin command to fly. That's going to be super awkward. Yep. Shotgun will be very nice right now. Level 100. We got another one. Come in. Come on in, man. Come on in. Plenty of room, dude. Plenty of room. Come down here where I can hit you. Look, this is the most awkward place to be. I'm just saying. I can't get out. He's still alive. If we use a pick. Absolutely not. Can I walk out? Back up, Junior. Back up. If I can walk out, I'll pick Junior up with the... Soul Trap Gun. We can, okay. Do you have anything in there that I want? Just these Sarko skins, I think. And the Leech Blood. Totally forgot about that. We got some oil. We got some more arrows. Definitely need those. We got some pearls, too. Nice, dude. Nice. Alright, pick you up. And... Throw you back out. Well, that was extremely terrifying. Now, where's the entrance? We got the torch. We can't see it. It's bugged. We gotta jump off and jump back on. 
Oh, it can't be on the cats. That's why I got stuck in here. Let's turn around. Junior, you are definitely causing me some problems today. It used to be where you could run down in here with a creature. Hopefully this is not the artifact cave or anything like that. Hopefully it's just the, the building cave. Hopefully there's no dwarves because we are on foot. You know what? This is no longer a building cave. Is this an artifact cave? I can't see, dude. The bushes, man. The bushes. Nope. Building cave. Ah, oh, dude. Let's get Junior out just in case there's something in here. Shouldn't be. It was free of creatures. Let's get the torch back out. Looks fantastic, dude. Ah, oh, man. Looks better than it did in... ASC. That tree, dude. I cannot wait. Oh, I cannot wait for Aberration Man! Now, is this normal? I don't want to get down in there and can't get back out. Let's jump in with the cat. Let's let's do this properly. Okay, nothing else in here. Want to make sure there wasn't a cave, again, for the artifacts and stuff. Plenty of ways to get out right here, too. Nice, man. Nice! That is awesome. Good place to build. I like the little statues everywhere, too. Very nice touch. Just more water and stuff up here. Very nice place to build. I mean, you're in the swamps. So you're kind of protected in a way, too. All right, let's get out of here. Pick up Junior again. So we got two of the things that we really wanted done today. We got some plant species. We found some dwarves, so I guess we got three things done. And then we also got a dodic. Now, with the dwarves, I want to find their bodies to see if there's any loot in them. They're right up here by the entrance, right? There was, what, two of them we killed off? Unloading? Okay. A little bit of lag there. Thought we were going to crash. Drag body. No loot. Drag body. No loot. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck! Getting claustrophobic here, dude. Holy crap, man. I hear something big out there. Sarko? There used to be a big structure right around here. It's where the uh, the dwarves would live. I guess that's kind of gone? Let's go down this way. We're almost through the whole swamp on this side. Yep, 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 yep. Get the jump on you before you get the jump on me. And then we'll loop back like I said on the other side. Hey, what is that? Little hidey hole. That's kind of cool. Nice, man. Nice. It's a little things like this that are awesome. Build a little place in. Put you up a little wall right there. Probably cover that up too. And then that as well. Is that one of the trees? Or is that rocks? Just a rock formation. I don't see the trees. The trees were from, I think, Gen 2. Or Gen 1. That might be why they're not on the map. They were kind of cool, man. Huge hollow trees to build in. So that's the end. The end of the map is right over there, too. Yep, big guy pushing stuff around. There should be the map border right here, I think. At least it used to be. Yep, at the edge of the map. End of the world right here. So before we head back up through the swamp to go back, I want to see if the cave is up here. There used to be one. There wasn't much in it. We still got a ton of exploring to do. It's right up here. Kind of where my head's at over there. A lot of stuff going on here. Okay, we got raptors. We got Sarah's over here. Yep, yep. Don't mind me. I'm just kind of passing through, guys. Pass it through. There's the other floating island, too, up there. Is that the cave? I think it is. We're almost out of stamina. We got the Sarah's around. Oh, this is totally different. This used to be another one you could build in. Not sure where you gotta jump off your team to get your torch out. Kinda neat. A little bit of ambient light in here. That's awesome, man. Very, very nice. Nothing over here. Just a cave to build in. I wanted to see if it was still here. There used to be water in here. It's like a waterfall. Hm, interesting. Alright. 
Let's head back to the swamp. We'll go up the other side, see if there's anything else, and then start making our way back towards base. We might grab that Thyla on the way, just to have it. It's kind of cool that there's Sarahs over here, and we got that blueprint for them. Might use those on some of the boss fights? Possibly. Maybe. We'll have to see. The main thing I want to use is the... Dinosuchus, whenever they get released. Because we have the Sarahs over on the center. I hate to go through and tame some more. Because the taming process kind of sucks on them. I mean, it's cool, but it's, it's, it's a long process, you know? And then just to not have to use them because we got our better pair over on that map, you know? Yep. Gators. Gonna avoid as much stuff as possible. Let's put the torch away. It's a little bit warm, just saying. And this whole map is kind of dark compared to the other ones. That's an awesome looking berry. It's a level 60. Fantastic colors on that guy, man. Might have to grab him for doing some color breeding. Yeah, I see you. Look, I I wanted to let you live, Junior. We are not gonna fight you in the water. Holy crap, dude. <gasps> oh, there's a dwarf! Oh, there's a bunch of them! Why are you guys coming from me over here? Are they just all in this area? It might be. Dude, they look fantastic, man! Terrifying looking! That's what the- oh, We got this mounted! Oh, that is terrible! Yep. Yep, it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, it's gonna be a bad day, Junior! Okay. It's gonna say, before we got rudely ripped off of our- Our team. That's what the armor should look like, I think. Then we get to build. We need to kill some UDs, dude. 100%! So no loot in these guys, huh? So that used to be a source for the special items, was the dwarves. Is it only the berserk creatures now? Where's the other ones that we killed? I want to check them all, because I know back in ASE, now some of these guys didn't drop any loot. Oh, you're, you are getting some loot. Junior, drop some loot. If you're not going to drop loot, I have no use for you. Yep, yep, come over here, come over here. I want to see where you die. No loot from that one either. Now, is it just going to his inventory and I don't see it? Got 15 of the mithril ore. Our pick is a lot better. Let's drop it. Well, let's keep it. No, let's drop it. 15. So we got it from one of the creatures. No other resources though. We got the energy crystal as well as the other stuff too. It's the other body there, I think. Inventory. Nothing. That's where we got the... What's the name of him? It's a regular warrior. That's the one we got the ore from, I think. Wasn't there a couple of those guys, or was that all of them? So they spawn right over here, huh? In this area. I hear you! It's a Capro. Oh, right here. This might be their new place. It used to be in the middle. I'm tired of getting dismounted all the time. Up right here. Dude, they are very, very bad builders. I'm just saying, dude, look at this place, man. You got one wall, huge opening, another little wall that a Capro can easily jump over, no door, a staircase that leads to nowhere. <laughs> no wonder they're so angry, man. Everything in the world's attacking them. I mean, they're building the swamp. All right, let's get out of here. It's kind of cool finding them, though. What is that? What is this? That's all, <laughs> look, dude. It's all my stuff I threw out, okay? Look, I might have swamp fever. It happens, dude. It happens. If we can get out of here without dying or being ripped off of our, oh, of our team again, that would be fantastic. Oh, dude. Just remember, we're only wearing cloth armor. Yep, yep. Where's the cat? 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 Junior! Oh, I got hit by another Capro! Yep. This guy. This guy. This guy. The berry, dude. The berry. Get the berry. I missed. Of course I missed. It's a bone arrow. We got a snake too? Look, man, look. The swamp is not safe, dude. I told you this at the start of the video. We're losing armor. We have no feet. It's fine. We got our pants. It's all that matters. We are getting out of the swamp. Out of the swamp. Out of the swamp! Holy crap, dude. As I said... <laughs> it is not... It is not safe! Welcome to Svartalheim Swamp. 
<laughs> it's full of sarcos and capros, man. Let's get up here. I should have enough stuff to repair our armor. Let's grab a little bit of fiber. Oh, we got some. A little bit, not much. Grab a little bit more. Need quite a bit because our clothes are scented, so... It's the only reason we were able to go in there and still live through most of that is our armor, plus our health is pretty high too, right? Alright, we're good there. Sit on the cat where we're somewhat safe. How's the rest of our stuff? It's not bad, man. They were mainly nibbling at my toes. Drop that. Do not want to wear the wrong pair of pants. We got some hide there too. Repair all of these. Should have done the pants first, I'm just saying. Always want to have your pants on. That's cool though, we've got all that stuff. What are we missing? Fiber! Like I said, dude, it's, it's very expensive to repair this stuff though. So all I want to do, head back towards base. I'd like to get some of the plant species set up if we can. Now we should have some of the fertilizer in our production terminal. Because we kind of set that up in the last video, it's been a couple in-game days. Is that enough to repair my pants? We can. Feels weird not wearing them, dude. Fiber, look, the rest is fine. We'll repair it later. And whenever I say that, it means we're gonna forget, and that'll break next. But we'll try to set up some of those plant species, just to kind of get stuff protected. Not exactly sure where to put them, because our base is kind of centered around using the JVH for our stuff. There's a red drop. So we might have to remove some of our trees and stuff just to put up the plant species. I'm thinking maybe four around the front. And then, maybe just two on the back side. Not too much spawns on the back side, it's mainly on the front of the base everything's at, you know? Yep, I hear you, I hear you! I just don't care! Cat's almost out of stamina. That, I do care about. Watch a drop will disappear as soon as we get up here. It kind of worries me whenever we see ruins, because that's usually where the dwarves spawn. Yep, we're running too fast. The grass couldn't spawn in. There we go, red drop. A lot of metal up here, too. Iguanodon, keep watch, buddy, keep watch, okay? I'll let you live! Oh, it's him. <laughs> I thought something followed us. Very nice basil blueprint. We got that, we got this, we got this. Detonator, don't need it. We don't really need that, either. I mean, let's take it, let's take a look. We'll start storing stuff for... grinding, I guess. Might as well. My inventory is so messed up, dude. That should be good there. Get rid of all these berries, too. Keep the arrows, we definitely need them. That's very, very good, though. Now, we got our basils over on the other map. And we need to find some better ones. There might be quite a few on this map, too. The ocean doesn't get very deep, at least it used to not. There's quite a bit of stuff in them. And here's a terrifying thing. So, we talked about berserk creatures, right? They kind of replace the alpha ones. There are... Berserk Squids. If you saw my ASE series, yep, good time to do that. If you saw my ASE series, you would have seen where I took them out with a Thyla. <laughs> the ultimate scuba cat man. Took forever, died a ton, but took out the uh, Berserk Squid using just our Thyla. Kind of fun, man. People have those things underrated for water tames. They are very, very good in the water. Their oxygen consumption is low, and usually whenever you tame them, you get a bunch of stats into oxygen anyways, so kind of has a use for them. And do we want to tame the Thyla while we're here? It was right up over here where we, we left it. I think we'll leave it. Let's head back to base. We gotta do a little bit of building before we go. I kinda wanna prioritize doing the... Plant species. We're hungry. Let's grab some food. A little bit of water. Actually, water's good. Yeah! No! Dude, come on, man! <sighs> we should go around the redwoods. Right here, buddy, right here. This guy, this guy. I can't do anything! We got a Carter on us, too. We got a Thyla, too! We're gonna die! 100%! Right now, we're gonna die. Him. Him. Get the Carno, get the Carno. We're good, we can get on the cats. Junior, Junior, Junior! It's better whenever I'm riding you! Another Michael Raptor! It's a 140 Thyla! Leave it! Let's get out of here. We need to cut across. We're almost dead. Let's cut across this way. Because the ramp to go up and out. I heard a bee. Ah, oh, there's a Thyla too. <laughs> Look, let's not stop. The cat's in bad shape. I'm in bad shape. All it's gonna take 
One more Microraptor, and we are done. Let's get out of the Redwoods, actually. Right up here. We'll go around the long way. There's a S version of the Dire Bear. Kind of cool. There still might be Microraptors up here, but at least there's a little bit less stuff, you know. Oh, there's beavers around here, too. We do need cement paste. That's one thing we're very, very shy on. That's a huge beaver dam right there in front of us. This area is totally different than it used to be in ASC. This is kind of where the special Bronto would spawn. It's like a big boss one. And yes, I said Bronto. It wasn't a... Or not Bronto, uh, Bracky. Okay, we got... We need stamina, dude. We need stamina. Please go somewhere else. Get your stamina, buddy. What level is a Therry? 25. The ones with the little ones are always super low level. His stamina is going up very, very slow because of his health. I just want to run past all this and get back to... <laughs> back to somewhere safe. I don't want to lose a cat. We don't have another one. And if we lose him, we're going to have a very, very bad time on this map. Let's cut through here. I know we're still kind of by the Redwoods. We need to go into the Redwoods to take that ramp going up. That's the problem, dude. Let's go across this. I think this is almost where we need to be at. Cat's overweight. His stamina and health are low. Our health is, like, very low. Need to get on the, the grind-making medical brew. I was hoping to get one of the chemistry... Or not the chemistry bench, but the industrial cooker done. But we don't have all the stuff that we need for that. Is this a way to... Yeah, right up here should be the cave to go through. Because there's a lake for... Hesperonis. There's a dung beetles. I was gonna say, I haven't seen any spiders. But they're right behind us. Yep, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop. I don't want to fight a man. We're almost back to safety, for the most part. <laughs> I am so glad. This kind of wraps all the way around base. Now, the thing that'll suck is if we get up here, the little area where we have to jump in the water, we'll get hit by Megalodons. I mean, be perfect into the day, just saying. Another drop over here. Fantastic. This is where the first drop was when I was coming up through here. Add a stamina. Come on, buddy. It's gonna disappear by the time we get to it. Rare flowers. Okay. Okay. Don't care about all this stuff. The stimulant will definitely work. Need to give it to Junior, you know? Can we just jump off? Cut off some time here? We could. Yep. Get attacked by the killer penguins. <laughs> We are almost back to base. It's been a very, very long day trying to get to the swamp. But we kind of got everything that we need, so it's not too bad, man. A little bit of a swim here, and we're back home. So I've heard that there are penguins over spawning on all the maps. So it's not just this one. Apparently they changed these spawn rates of them. And that's why we have so much. It's kind of cool, though. At least we have a good, good source of palm around, you know? Now if we get the... Oh, there's Hesperonis here, too. Might try to tame them up around here if we can find some low-level ones. But between the penguins and those guys and then the guys in the swamp, it'll be super easy to get all of our spoiled meat, oil, as well as polymer, you know? Just need to get a theory for doing the harvesting. I think we got to put it into... Oh, you're out of stamina again. I think we put all the points into delicate. Will be for the polymer, or maybe it's heavy. I'll have to look it up and see. There's one of them you put all your stats into, and it does fantastic, man. Here we go. Should be able to boost all the way back to base. Hopefully we're not being invaded by any creatures. We need to make up some of the crop plots. We should have plenty of the stone and everything. So I'm thinking about setting them out away from base. Maybe like up here. I mean, they got very long range on them anyways. I don't want to put it right up on the base because we kind of got that set up with our plants like we, we like it, you know? We'll see, we'll see. Let's, let's get some made first. Junior, you alright? It's been a very, very long day. Alright, buddy. Look, man. You did fantastic today. Almost let me die a couple times, but it's the best you've done in a long time protecting me. Good job, buddy. Alright, drop this stuff off. And then the rest of this can kind of go into here. Oh, wait, let's put the stimulant in there. Alright, we good? Oh, we got more stuff in here, too. That's going to be a... Saddle. Then we got some parts. 
The uh, Black Pearls are one thing that was weighing us down a lot. Take all these out. We got the Dodic 2. That's all fine. And give me back these so I don't forget to plant them. It's gonna happen, dude. Drop off that. Put some stuff in the refrigerator. Now, what do we need for making the antidotes? Leech blood, we have that. Rare flowers, rare mushroom, and then narcotics. Now, we should be able to put those in the refrigerator as well. I believe. I think. Possibly. Maybe. Have to see. And then... Fertilizer. We got plenty. So that kind of works out, too. Alright, so... Let's get foundations made. Do we have any? We don't. Let's do two, four, five, one, two. Let's just do four, man. I got my stats boosted for those. And if you're wondering how to do that in the in-game options, it's called turret damage. Has to do with those two. You can up that. I think my multiplier is like at 30 or so. Let's do... Should we do one right here? I like it being down in the ground like that. Let's do this. We'll do that. We'll pick up this. We'll pick up this as well. And we need four of the large crop plots. And that'll be good there. Now, I don't like using the modded ones for the crop plots or the plant species. You can't put those in the converting table. And then, has a selector on what creatures you want to have on the list for them to attack. I want everything to be attacked. I want everything cleaned out of our area. Alright, so that's there. We're gonna need a water tank as well. Totally forgot about that. Maybe two? Ooh, we got enough for one. One will have to work. Why you running? That was a cool looking parasaur. Fantastic colors on that guy, man! He's having a bad day. Having a very bad day. Let's close the doors. He can deal with his own problems. Let's take this. And then... I have to see what the range is. We might just put out some... Oh, you know what? Probably could have just done taps. Are you irrigated? You are? Up here? How do we want to do this, man? We could put it right here. Remove this. It is irrigated as well. Should have grabbed the fertilizer. Let's just do that. We'll just put it on the sides of, of, of the building. See how that kind of works out. We can always move them around later. Need one more crop plot. I think we were kind of heavy on weight. Not irrigated. We might need to put the water tank over here. Not up there. Wanted to try to hide it in a bush. It should get irrigated once the water tank picks it up. Give it a second. Let's make one more of the crop plots while we're waiting. Irrigated. We're good. Oh, you know what? I don't need the fertilizer. It's putting it in there for me. Totally forgot about that. And then one more back here. Did I forget to plant species? I did. I thought I grabbed it. Let's change our skins over real quick. I hear you. Thought he was up here. It's a Carno. Holographic Patchy! I want the element and the black pearls from him. That's kind of cool, man. Yep, we're hungry. Look, buddy, look. Bad time for you to be hungry. I got you, Junior. I got you. I will save you, and then I'll kill you. Did... Did he glitch into the ground? I think I pushed him into the ground. Well, that kind of sucks. Eat some food. So with the shiny mod, if you didn't know, there's a couple prods in here. And what you do is you have to kill the enraged ones. Those are like, even worse than alpha creatures. And you get some stuff to make, it's like, called an essence. You can make a prod. 
like this, and you run up, you stab one of the creatures, and then you kill it off within 60 seconds, and you get to keep their their special ability. Like that one was a hollow. We could get the hollow essence and then put it on our own that we tame and have the ability. So it's kind of cool, man. It's kind of cool. Kind of theory over here, too. We might put one more plant species right here. Let's go ahead and do it now. That should kind of protect the area up here. We are boat dog is somewhat safe. We'll keep him on like the high range. Not the dodic. Put him away, Junior. I don't wait. Wait. I don't want admin mode. I wish there was a way to disable that. Because I accidentally right click all the time. And I hate it. Put you up here. Drop the altitude down on it. <laughs> the level, man. The level. We'll leave it at stone. Let's grab some plant species. Did I not grab his seeds earlier? Where's the plant species? Did I throw them out? Where's the plant species? I am not going to be able to look back at my video until we're done recording. Not in there. Not in there. I'm going to lose my mind. Are they in the refrigerator? Why is that a thing, dude? I was about to lose my mind. Holy crap, dude. There's no about to lose my mind. I was losing my mind. All right, so... I was going to say, I am not going all the way back to grab some more. I was going to spawn them in. Do this side over here, too. Look, dude. It's been a very long and painful day. I hear you in the swamp. Stay back. Stay back. Yep. That's what you get. Ah, Junior. Neutral, buddy. Neutral. It's fine, man. It's fine. I know. You're a little bit worked up, too. He had a little one. And he has no more. Buddy, look, dude. Look, man. Don't be... Don't be clingy, okay? One for you. It should all be growing. We'll speed up time here in a second, and let them fully grow. Let's do our one over here. Is that another theory? 85. I thought that was a, a Carno that we killed off over here. Alright, man, let's give it a few minutes. <laughs> let these things raise up. Turtle, please, dude, go somewhere else, man. Get the cat out. We're building a wall. We're gonna have to, man. I can see it now. We're going to have to build a wall to keep all these creatures out. Alright, I'll see you back in a few minutes. We'll change all the settings on the plant species, and then we are calling it a day. Very, very long day, but very productive. A little bit of lunch, too, man, while we're waiting. We ready to go? I think we're good. How are you doing? Oh, this one's not grown. I did not see this one. No water, right? It's fine, not irrigated. It'll be alright, man. I was wanting something down there for the boat, but that'll be fine. I don't have enough cement paste to make another one. So let's change these settings on these. We want only wild creatures. And then range is high. Copy. All turrets in range. And that should be set. Now, there was an Orvoraptor I saw. Wanted to try to tame him up real quick, because we do got some eggs from the stuff in our terminal. I don't know where he went to. There was a... Raptor pack that was running around. Not sure where they went to. Okay, it is working already. There's one of the pigs that got killed off. Stuff over here, too. 
Yep, that's a baby trike. <laughs> that guy's still around. That kind of works, man. Not too bad. Not a fan of having those up here by base. I think what we'll do is we'll start getting ready to probably build a wall, man. Big enough wall out here to close everything in. Now we got the natural cliff over here that we might just tie it into. Like right here where that tree is. Come up this way some and then head over. And that'll be plenty of room, dude, right here. We're having our creatures out for doing our breeding and stuff. Because don't forget that the range on the nanny is super, super huge. And then our greenhouse will be right here. So it's not too bad. Ah, dude, well... Not too bad of a day. I mean, it kind of was, dude. We went to the swamp, man. Anytime you go to the swamp, it's it's not safe, dude. But we got the Dodic. Fantastic. So glad we got him for getting our stone. We've got the plant species. And it's all set up here at base. We killed off some shinies. And we found that cave plus the dwarves. Got some of that stuff, too. So everything is accomplished that we set out for. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.